Anthropologists think about big macro questions about what it is to be human and how different cultural settings make humans different from one another, but they also think about very specific kinds of questions, how political and economic changes in specific places impact upon people and make a difference to their lives. I'd say the role of anthropology is as being to question and interrogate, uh, to, to raise questions that maybe a lot of other disciplines don't even think of raising to reflect critically on the assumptions that are embedded in Western ways of seeing the world and to show that a lot of what we take for granted as being natural or inevitable or universal is actually something that's quite culturally specific. It's a very democratic um, subject because it's one of the few subjects which believes in knowledge being created through your relations with other people and understanding other people's lives. So many different disciplines uh, find an issue and focus on it just from, from one specific point of view and I think anthropology is interesting and difficult because it engages in, in the real complexities that, that you have to understand if you want to understand what's going on in, in our globalized world at the moment. We're asking really big theoretical questions about what it means to be human or what does culture mean, what do symbols mean and I find it really challenging but at the same time you gain so much from it that like you have a completely new perspective on the way that you live your life and the way that you um, look at the world and I think that's so valuable. One of the things that makes us distinctive is we have this really long, distinguished history. We've been involved in British social anthropology from the beginning, but at the same time we're constantly trying to innovate and change our teaching and our research. So we're both kind of established but also cutting edge. A lot of the current interests tend to centre around political and economic anthropology, religion and secularism, um, the state, uh, learning and cognition, but I'd say, you know, in, that, that, that that doesn't stop people from exploring a range of diverse issues as they come up, everything from altered states of consciousness to bureaucracy to natural resource extraction. We have this very long tradition and history um, of ethnographic methods. We'll start off with very general questions about the world, for example. What is inequality? Uh, how does it relate to hierarchy? And we'll, we'll try to answer those questions by understanding um, people's lives in depth. Undergraduates, we have a degree in social anthropology, which you can take either as a BA or a BSc. We also have a BA anthropology and law program, which is a qualifying law degree, whilst at the same time giving you the opportunity to study anthropology. At master's level, we have an MSc in social anthropology, an MSc in anthropology and development, and also anthropology and development management. And we have this very unique degree, um, which is called China in Comparative Perspective. For me, LSE was always going to be my first choice because A, the anthropology department, but B, other departments as well, and, and the multidisciplinary nature of the degree. Um, there, there are so many interesting people across departments at, at the LSE, and for me, it was really hard to find another school that engaged with all those uh, different interests like the LSE did. The reason why people should study anthropology at the LSE is not only because of the the position that the department plays in the history of the discipline. I mean, uh, uh, LSE pioneered uh, the kinds of fieldwork methodologies that are used in the discipline the world over. But also the, the professors here are absolutely fantastic. They, they have a kind of infectious enthusiasm for the discipline that it's you know, very difficult to shake. We let undergraduates do ethnographic research during their second year. Um, they're right in the middle of London. They can go off and really study any kind of group of people that they find interesting. We also have a new year abroad program. Um, and I think there's something about being at the LSE 
which is an institution which is really connected with um, policy makers and all kinds of international speakers. So when you're at the LSE, you don't feel like you're in an ivory tower. You feel like you're really somewhere that's very dynamic and engaged with the world around you. Another thing that makes the department's teaching uh, special, I think, is the tutorial system that we have here where students meet with their academic advisors on a one-on-one -on -one or a small group basis to really go into depth on key topics that they're learning in their classes. Every Friday we go down to the pub and we get drinks with professors and students and fellows, which is really a fun way to get to know everybody. And uh, once every term as well, we have a big anthro party and some of the professors and former students are in a band that plays. There's an a awesome DJ that uh, works at the department that's really fun. So we have a really good time. I think if you want to do a degree in anthropology and you want to be challenged and you want to push yourself and learn everything that you can, you want to take advantage of all the opportunities that the LSE offers, then you should 100% apply to come to the LSE to study anthropology.